Hi guys, this is Pini with Ms. Martinez. Uh, what we're working on here is an Obey inspired painting. What we have is a bunch of rays going out from a center point. So if we want to do this kind of effect, what we have to do is figure out where that center point is going to be. Mine is off to the side right here. And then I use the ruler to draw out a bunch of lines going out. One thing you have to pay attention to is how often it's going to go from red to white, red to white, over and over and over again. Because you don't want to end up with two whites side by side, right? So you have to make sure that you count out how many spaces you have. It has to be an even number, not an odd number. All right, the next thing you do is what I used is blue tape. Let me get the blue tape real quick. Oh, actually, it's a tape like this. You'll find rolls of it in the classroom. There should be two or three of them. Make sure that you're using them to tape off your line making. And what I'm taping off is the left and the right, to the left and to the right of where the white stripe is going to be. As you see, I've already painted my background red. So the next thing you do is paint individual sections over and over again until you get a solid even coat like this. I'm not sure if you can see that. Look how even that is. Look how not even this one is. So we're going to work on that one a little bit. So you take a semi-thick paintbrush, make sure it's clean, make sure that the bristles move fluidly. See that? You gotta mix a color of off-white colored paint. And the way you do that is, I've grabbed the bottles that you're gonna need. You're gonna need a little bit of white. You're gonna need this burnt sienna. Burnt sienna. And you're also gonna need a dab of yellow, a tiny drop of yellow. Guys, don't be wasting paint. What you have to do is make sure that you only pour a little bit at a time, mix it, and then if you need more, you always go back and get more. So, ah. Remember, you don't want to overdo it. So that's probably enough paint. And to get this off-white color, what you want to do is take a little bit of brown, mix it in. You should have, it should look kind of like a creamish, pinkish color. And the yellow is to get rid of the pink. So that's pretty close to what I have there. Actually, it's very close. And maybe just a little bit more white. So what I'm doing is I'm adding those colors off to the side so I can grab a little bit of paint at a time. You don't want to overdo it. So just a little bit of white and you're ready to paint. And to get the burgundy red, set that paper there. It's ultimately just this brown and a red paint. So I have jars of red paint. These are acrylic. Make sure that all bottles you're using acrylic on them. They should not say linoleum block printing ink or anything like that. They should say acrylic on them. Um, there's also a bottle of red paint that you can use that's more this style. Either one's fine. So you mix red. Take some red. And you mix a little bit of that brown in it. And you end up getting a great looking earth tone, almost like a brick red. That's what you want for this assembly. That's if you're using Obey colors. Um, You'll see that some of his paintings have a burgundy red and that off-white color and maybe a third color. Um, you can also use black. If you're going with colors like on uh, the Hope painting, the Obama painting, um, you're going to try to get a blue as well. And that blue isn't straight out of the bottle. Remember, this assignment requires you to mix your own colors. So if you're going to make an Obey blue, then you want to try to mix some color into it. So maybe take a blue and a little bit of black, a little bit of white. Um, and explore. Um, just, just play around with paint until it comes out the right color. Alright, so going back to painting, I'm going to take this off white paint. I'm going to give it a second coat. As you can see, I didn't tape all the way down and make a little peak right there because that won't matter. My portrait that I'm going to paint is going to be right here in the middle. change the 
color of the group theory. This may take a third coat. So far, I'm going to have two layers of paint on there. There we go. I may also make, may, I'm making sure that I don't have any bubbles. Now it's time to dry. Take your board. Oops. I'm going to go out to there. Or to blow dry. drive but just because we don't have time just peel it to see what it looks like good. it's pretty good notice how all of my striations are starting to come together again the smudging all of this right here in the middle doesn't matter because my portrait the face that I'm painting is going to be right in the middle Throw this away. Alright, next thing you do is blow dry one more time. Alright, hi guys, I'm back on here. Uh, just as a review, what I'm doing here is I'm taping individual stripes to make it look like everything comes down to a focal point. This gives you that whole rays of light kind of effect. Um, in the middle, right here, off to the side actually. So, off to the side is going to be my portrait. And what I'm drawing here is this old band. You guys might recognize him from Cheech and Chong. The no rider is a little higher. Chong, his name is actually Richard Marin. He is a... Uh, Famous actor, but even more so, he's a super smart guy. Um, I highly respect. He collects Chicano, meaning Latino art, so Mexican American artwork. Um, he's a huge uh, supporter of educating the, the raza. So, um, again, he's one of my heroes, and not uh, because of the Chichen Chong videos. Not, not that I have to clarify that. But what I'm going to be doing is drawing a grid over the top of this when it's time. Right now, I'm still working on the race. So, if you take this blue tape. And you follow your lines. Like so. And you follow your lines. Like that. I've also taped I've also taped all the way around the border. That's gonna give me a pretty cool effect that you can't see yet, and I'll reveal that when it's time. But now you paint. Take a nice brush, make sure any mess you make, you should be cleaning up. And I don't mean just spreading it around like that, you should clean it up. All right, so here we go.
I'm going to try a different strategy this time. Last time I was painting, painting this way. This time I'm going to paint left to right for a reason. And that reason is, is that I know I have to paint it a second time. So what I'm going to do is paint left and right this time. And then when I use a blow dryer and dry it out, the next time I'm going to be painting in the opposite direction. It's kind of like that whole idea of shading. Make you guys shade one direction, and then the second time around, make you shade in the opposite direction. Cancel out all line work. And there you go. Good enough for that one. Then I'm going to come over here and paint this one. Don't overdo the paint. It will thicken out over time with the layers that you do. So don't overload the area of the paint. It'll end up looking bad. Just like that. If you get wet paint, let's say right over here, and I won't do it right now, but if you happen to get you end up getting wet paint somewhere where it doesn't belong, let's say like right here, make sure you have a wet paper towel handy. Because what you can do is if it's not dry yet, you can scrub it away. Bam, it's gone, right? And that only happens in a short amount of time, so you have to wipe it off right away. Otherwise, if it dries, it's permanent. But if it's not dry, then there's no permanence there. You could actually wipe it away. Um, I am going to paint this last strip before I run into the blow dryer. that when you lay down the tape you kind of press on the edges a little bit not super hard but just a little bit look just about what I was doing remember I said I was gonna paint left to right that way when I dry it the next time around I paint away from the center and that'll make things look a little better so those kinds of things those little tricks that'll make you be a better painter Blow dry time.